I need to have a rant. One thing that I have noticed going around uh, with my my um, my son uh, Gustav and my daughter Sophia, who are both trying to get their their um, driving licenses uh, sorted right now, is the amount of people who are honking at learner drivers. I mean, yeah, I get it. So you want to get home from work, or you're on your way to work, or you're on your way to God knows what to buy your cigarettes or some stupid reason like that. But do you really have to honk your horn at the learner driver? Uh, I mean, you're standing at a red light, and the minute it goes green, you're honking. You just the minute it's gone green, it isn't even like you give them a couple of seconds to prepare and get going. No, 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 right away. And what even gets to me more than that is you're seeing someone, they're driving them on the road, they are indicating that they are about to turn, and there you are, honking. Like, what do you want them to do? You can see they need to turn. They are about to turn off this road. But they do have to wait until they get to the actual junction. They can't just, you know, take the car and fly. So why, why they ha sorry, I'm not supposed to use those words, but why are you honking at them? I don't understand this. It makes no sense whatsoever. So, we live in a place where there is an awful lot of traffic. Yeah. And so, every day, new people are getting their licenses. That's why they have those little green peas. That means they just had the license. It says on the car, green pea, you know, this is a new driver. And then you see all the ones with the little red L's, which means that this is a learner driver. So, they are soon going to come with a green pea and become one of us as well. What are you trying to do to them, honking this horn all the time? I mean, my daughter, she drives like she already had a license. She really does. She drives really, really well. On the way to get my grandson, the same car, the same car, an idiot in a Jeep, was honking uh, at three different cars, all three of them learner drivers. So first he is behind my daughter, coming out of a roundabout, there's a red light. When the red light goes orange, he's honking at my daughter. It's still orange. It hasn't even turned green. Now he's honking. He wants her to go. She's not She's not supposed to. She's not allowed to go when it's orange. She's supposed to wait until it's green. Here she is, sitting in the car. She's already at biting point. She's ready to leave. But you're already honking at her. Which makes me want to get out of the car. I mean, God knows if I could, I would be out of this car with my cane and just whacking some people over the head. But it's this this inability to sort of empathize with someone else's situation that just blows my mind. They've been there themselves. I mean, I refuse to believe that these idiot honkers one day sat in a car put the key in the ignition and just drove off and since that day they have never done anything wrong I, I don't believe that I seriously believe they also started out as beginners at some point and but they must have had someone honking at them too and they must know it's not nice so why do it why do it why not show just a little bit of extra understanding a little bit of extra encouragement a little bit of extra support towards people who are new trying to find their feet, trying to get their confidence up to be one of us who are allowed to drive in this traffic every day. And yet, we have these idiots and, interestingly, pretty much all the time, the idiots drive a BMW. Pretty much all the time. They drive a BMW or they, buy, they, they drive those moronic Jeeps that I don't even understand why they are allowed I mean seriously on a school run and it seems to me there is a correlation here the worst and most careless reckless idiot drivers they drive the BMWs for some reason and the worst drivers in terms of are you sure you have a driving license they seem to be people and I'm really sad to say this because it irks me so much but the amount of women driving school runs in SUVs and driving like they have stolen the car and actually never taken a driving license sorry a driving lesson in their life is astonishing absolutely astonishing 
And so what, 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 I would love to know what did they think? What, what went through their head? Okay, let me buy a really heavy, really dangerous car so that I can keep my kids safe. Meanwhile, every other child at this school is now at risk because I am a lousy driver. But I'm going to have a car that can easily kill all these kids if I don't pay attention, which clearly you don't do. How, how does that work? Is that the same people who decide that they're not going to vaccinate their kids? Because what if my child gets a problem from the injection? No, I'd rather keep them in my SUV so that they don't have to face any consequences of my bad choices. And then to hell with every other child in the world. Must be that. Now these people are back. That means I've been ranting for a good 10 minutes. So maybe I should just shut up and uh, get on with the day. Hey, sweetie pie. Hi, Momo. Hi, my love. I shop junk and chips junk and juice. What? You, you, you bought donuts and chips, chips. and juice? Yeah. And tow tow pops. <gasps> and cocoa pops. Yeah. That sounds like an awful lot of sugar. I let him choose the cereal. Come here, let me have a hug. Mm. You know what I've done? I made a video about stupid drivers who are honking their horn at this I don't like cars pee pee at me. No, exactly. You don't like it when cars go pee pee at you. So now we're going to say they need to stop. This is not nice. We don't like it. So now you know. It's not nice. We don't like it. Just stop.